All right. So two cases argued yesterday. This is affirmative action as it pertains to admission into college, not for employment or other things, right? Technically, it only applies to colleges and universities, yes. And what does the Constitution say about affirmative action? Absolutely nothing. What the Constitution says in the 14th Amendment and what the court said in Brown versus Board of Education is that excluding people from public schools on the basis of race violates the Equal Protection Clause, which it clearly does. N today's cases involve the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and Harvard. Technically, Harvard is not bound by the Constitution because it is a private actor. Chapel Hill is bound by the Constitution, but there's a federal statute that requires that anyone receiving federal funds not discriminate on the basis of race. All universities receive federal funds. And the Supreme Court has said in the past that whatever standards we use for the Constitution apply also for the federal statute. So all of the precedents the court has built up over the years on affirmative action apply to both the 14th Amendment and the federal statute. And I wanted to say that the plaintiffs are asking in this case, in both cases, to have the court impose a rule of colorblindness in admissions, uh, both under the statute and under the Constitution. And I want to say, Pete, and, and I'm not equivocating here at all, in 1978, the court was asked that question and said no. In 2003, the court was asked that question and said no. In 2016, the court was asked that question and said no. Three huge precedents, all rejecting it, this court is going to accept it, and they're going to accept it after not one, there was almost no discussion today about this thing we call precedent or stare decisis. Almost no discussion at all, even though one of the questions presented, which is a technical way of saying what's the case about, was should the court overrule this case called Gruder versus Bollinger from 2003, mm. where the court rejected colorblindness. So not only is the court going to reverse that case, it's going to reverse that case without asking any questions about whether it should reverse that case. So and is that the big takeaway that everybody in your world is arguing about? Like what just another example where the court is going to throw the entire idea of what previous decisions made were made precedent, stare decisis. And, and, and so that becomes a new thing. It just doesn't matter. Well, you know, Pete, my view, which is not the same as most progressive law professors' views, is that the Supreme Court has never cared about precedent, has right. never cared about stare decisis. Right. It's only a question of degree. Right. However, to completely reverse the law of abortion, religion, <laughs> affirmative action, yeah. and guns in two terms, even by the court standards of not caring about precedent, is pretty extreme. <laughs>